Hi there. So today we're going to be going through this very exciting new piece of technology called Sora. So Sora is, if you haven't heard already, an AI model released by OpenAI. So the makers of ChatGPT, except it's for generating video content. So instead of text like ChatGPT or video like DALI, which is now within ChatGPT, OpenAI have released Sora. Uh, for generating video. So when I say released, they've just sort of given out some information and examples on the model uh, for safety and precautionary reasons. They have not released it to the public. So you can't actually use Sora right now, but there has been chatter that it's going to be released uh, late this year in 2024. So let's go through some examples. This is really exciting stuff. They've really taken AI video generation to another level. It's insanely realistic. So this is the first example. Let me blow that up to full screen. So you can just see how realistic this is, like the reflections off the road of the water. It's incredible. Like there's this person sort of walking in the background with all these bags, which is maybe a little bit weird, but there's, I mean, you really have to look to find these things. And this level of detail in the reflection off her glasses and the jacket, it's, it's pretty incredible stuff. So there's a lot of different examples on this page. Uh, if you want to have a look at all of them, this is one of my favorite ones. It just looks so realistic. It's crazy. And you can see the prompts that they've put in here as well. So this one's a movie trailer of adventures of the 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitten motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert, cinematic style, et cetera, et cetera. So, so you can click on there to get the whole thing. It's also really good at generating these, uh, picturesque drone shots as well, and even cartoon style stuff as well. Pretty incredible. Here's a few more examples. Um, so this one's going through California in the gold rush. So you can imagine the implications on something like filming and why there's this concern in Hollywood about AI, because I mean, there's, there's, there's so much, so many use cases for this, particularly in the film industry. And level of detail detail here is crazy. So let's look at some of the examples showing limitations as well. So we'll just scroll down to here. So this one, like they've asked for a person running on a treadmill and you can see they're obviously kind of running backwards. So something didn't go right there. These dogs are kind of like morphing out and into each other. And then these archeologists are pulling this object out, which just magically morphs into a chair and then wait for it. It starts flying <laughs> and it was also kind of like morphed while it's flying. It's yeah, there's some weird stuff going on there. That's probably the weirdest one I've seen out of all the uh, limitation examples. And this one's sort of meant to show that like the people aren't, their hands are doing weird things, like they're not really clapping, but it's, God, it's hard to notice. Um, so yeah, there's, there's so many good examples on here. It's really, really cool. This is one of my favorites as well. Corgi given a cool video selfie, but watch that seagull and it just goes there and then it just disappears in that gap. So that's another example. And again, it disappears there. <laughs> so this has really taken a massive leap forward in AI video generation. What sucks the most about Sora is that it's not available for you to use. It's not available to the public. This is, you know, privately closed off. Uh, for safety and precautionary reasons. So 
what I can tell you is there are three AI video generation tools that I can highly recommend. They don't aren't necessarily at the same level as Sora, but they're pretty good actually. And I don't think a lot of people actually realize that they're available and out there right now. So the first one that's most similar to Sora is Runway. So these guys, I would say, are the leaders in AI video generation. And what they're doing is, I guess you could say, pretty similar to what Sora is showing. So there tends to be a text prompt to produce a video out of nothing. So if you scroll down on their page, you can kind of see some examples. So they'll put a prompt in and then it will generate a video. You can see a lot of these are not actually as realistic as um, what you can see on the Sora page. It does depend on the prompt though, and it's still pretty awesome. And there's lots of different options here. So you can see there's the image to video, so you can just upload an image and then it will add movement to it. One thing that's really cool is this motion brush feature. So it will concentrate on adding movement to that specific part. So this example with the balloons is really cool. You can see it's leaving everything else still same with the tennis player so it's leaving the background like fairly still and moving the other parts of it so it's really promising what they're doing here and this is already available the other two options that you have available are more talking to camera style videos so these are particularly relevant for use cases like training staff videos or sending personalized sales videos to potential clients uh, you can see here, like this video is an example where there's someone speaking directly to the camera. They're kind of like reading a script almost. Um, basically, this is actually a real person. This is the CEO of this company and they have made a digital copy of him and then uploaded it into their system. It's, it's actually super easy to use. Um, and then you enter your own script and you get him to basically say whatever is in your script without ever having to film it. So you can use their available video avatars is what they're called, or you can create your own digital copy of yourself. So obviously in these situations, they've used like really good, uh, lighting and setups. And you can see the, you know, the person is dressed like quite professionally and they've got a laptop there on the desk and everything to make it really look nice. So just keep that in mind with making a digital copy of yourself. If you're using like a bad quality camera, it's not going to be as good of a result. There's also the fact that they've got different voices and accents and languages available. So you could actually get yourself to speak a different language or in a certain accent, which is kind of cool. Um, and another one available, Synthesia. So that one was HeyGen. This is Synthesia, very, very similar product to HeyGen. So these guys are direct competitors, um, but they're both really good products uh, and for making those speaking to camera style videos. So in terms of Sora, I think it's incredibly exciting thinking about what implications this could have on training videos. There's already these products available, but what else could we do that you can't with these products? Like, could you create training showing how to do something with your hands, like a laborious task, whether it's like, you know, setting something up as an electrician with all these different wires or, um, how to cook something in the kitchen or, um, even using a certain software platform like ChatGBT specific to your business. So creating those tutorials with that, I think we're still like fairly far away from these sorts of things. I'm getting like really solid accuracy on that, but it does pose the potential and idea that this might be possible in the next few years.